So that was the national anthem of the United States, who trying to win this for the second time in a row. And Jeff, I stand corrected on what I said. Before. It's not three in a row. I've forgotten about the Lithuania back in in uh, 2011 with the big Jonas Valanciunas and uh, Russia beating the United States. The last time they lost at this level, which is uh, was in danger of uh, recurring last night. Well, it could happen. You know, it could happen tonight. Uh, Marko Arapovic, the way he's played, Ivica Zubac, uh, numbers 13 and 15 there. I love 13 because the word is if the uh, if Bender and Zizic had played in the tournament, Zubac would have been an, an onlooker on the bench. He was the backup. It's incredible. And he's come into the tournament and his numbers are incredible. 20 points in, in the last two games, or almost 20 points in the last two games. And what what can you say about Bozic? I mean, here's a guy, as well as Slavica, might be the most exciting player in that Croatian team. Filipovic has done a great job. Uh, you know, the point guards are supposed to be suspect. But, you know, don't write these guys off. Meanwhile, the USA, they won last night. Uh, it, it wasn't a well-oiled machine, but it was a, a very talented, hard-working machine. And... In the end, they got it done, it thankfully, was, because of their point guard. It was a resilient effort. I think that's what you have to say. I mean, go back to the atmosphere. Keep going back to it. You know, Harry Giles tweeting about it. It was something that they were not They were obviously ready for, but you have to experience it to be ultimately ready for it. It was a hostile atmosphere is what Harry Giles yeah. said. Now, Harry Giles will come off the bench, but we've got Trier, Brunson, Ferguson, Jackson, and Onowaku uh, in this starting lineup. Onowaku of Louisville you know, hasn't really been the dominating player that we would expect him to be. Maybe he's saving it up for tonight. Uh, he's going to have a real challenge against Arapovic. See, Yavor Koromilas of Greece and Wyland of Canada. So the Slovenian. Well, I think the fact that Wyland of Canada is there will please the American coaches. And it's not all a, a situation where they feel the world's against them in terms of the ref referee. So uh, that will balance up everything, I'm sure. He, this coach, uh, Anthony Nazor, has been, he's had his team ready, haven't they? I mean, they have been well prepared. This is the moment when they can really do something incredible for yeah. Croatian basketball. Absolutely. Does, does coaches uh, club ball in a hotbed of uh, basketball in Zadar and Shaw Miller down the other end. He uh, definitely went through the emotions last night. He'll be hoping for a little uh, more relaxed night. But he knows full well if they don't come out strong, they don't come out uh, with a, with that mental attitude to get the job done, it will be uh, another tough fight for them. I think the first five minutes of this game will tell us very quickly about what's going to happen as far as the results concerned. If the Americans come out with a strong burst of points, that will send a strong message to the Croatian team. Well, I, I expect to see the best of the USA tonight. They played in front of a hostile crowd, as Harry Giles said last night. You know, it was a difficult game. They got through it, and here they are just 40 minutes away from winning the FIBA Under-19 World Championship. I got the impression when the Americans walked onto the floor and got a very warm reception from this crowd, I just wonder whether the local Cretan crowd here would just favor the American team, knowing full well that was the team that put out the Greeks last night. Got a feeling they might find a lot of support, a local support here. Well, certainly over the years, there's been a lot more uh, Croatian versus Greek duels or showdowns. Uh, because they're European teams. But 1992, it was a famous uh, at senior team level at the Olympics. You might remember that. USA playing Croatia, winning in the final. And uh, that was that was a shootout at the OK Corral. The and Franjo Arapovic played, the father of Marko Arapovic. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. That was the Petrovic game. That was uh, pretty special. Pretty special. Well, hello, everyone. We're coming to you live here from Crete, Greece. It's the final of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship, and it's the United States, the defending champions, going up against Croatia. Croatia wearing the red, and USA in white, and Onowaku uh, wins the opening tip. So it's the star of last night, Jalen Brunson, bringing it up the floor and gets it over to Trier. Trier, excuse me, and Brunson now brings it back. 
Trier puts up a three. Good. Well, oh. Alonzo Trier. We didn't see much of him the last couple of nights, but uh, that will settle him down big time. He needs a game really to get some confidence. So Brunson is guarding Slavica. And a bounce pass over to Bozic. Now Croatia will want to run what they run, and Jackson gets that hand up and knocks it away from Arapovic. I was about to say interest in how Brunson's guarding Slavica, but he's just matched back up with uh, Filipovic. The two, uh, two guards will uh, see a lot of each other tonight. Filipovic into Bozic. Now Arapovic, he started well last night and ends up taking a very difficult shot. And that's the difference, really. I like the way he plays in that low post. He's not afraid of banging around. He's not afraid of tough shots. Last night, he made that shot easily against Turkey. No pressure. But this time, he had the body on him. And Trier has hit the opening three. Now Jackson puts up a three and throws it over the rim. But Onowaku gets it back. And Slavica with the rebound. Now it's Croatia in the open floor. And Slavica just floats in and misses the shot. Yeah, that's the type of shot the Croatians have to make if they're going to play competitive in this game. Ferguson, meanwhile, just inside the top of the key. And outstanding rebound from Josh Jackson. Ended up on the floor somehow. and Maybe got some contact going up there. He plays hard. Filipovic up against uh, Brunson, who's like white on rice, and he carries the ball. He turns it over, Filipovic. Yeah, right in front of the referee. I'm not sure how much he got his hand underneath the ball, but it's common in European guards to make sure you cradle that ball a little more than you're allowed to, perhaps, at times. Trier was... Slightly anonymous last night. He gets it over to Ferguson and puts it up and the three-pointer. Yeah, yeah, good good ball movement, Jeff. Filipovsky got uh, sucked in. Filipovic got sucked into that post-to-post uh, -post screen. That left a skip pass open for the three. Well, the coach, Nazor of uh, Croatia, beside himself that the open three was there. And Bozic draws the foul. So Croatia have given away two three-pointers. Is it a case of pick your poison, or are they going to get out there and get a hand in the face? Jeff, any time you play the States, it's going to be pick your poison. You know, and, and that was a set play for the United States. We've seen all the way through this tournament. Teams have scouted it. The way you scouted it, you semi-switched that screen. But Filipovic was stuck in that low post. He couldn't get recovered over to the other side. But a chance now for points for Bozic. Well, Bozic will perhaps uh, take away some of the pressure here for Croatia. You know, four players played 30-plus minutes for Croatia yesterday. They didn't use their bench at all. Go back to the game last uh, Monday or Tuesday, I think it was, where United States played Croatia. A lot more minutes were spread around by the Croatians. I don't see that happening tonight. I think these players are going to have to go deep into the minutes for the Croatia team. Rapovic is uh, on Jackson. Interesting. And he gets a hand up. You know yeah. what? He stayed solid, too, didn't he? Well... No real uh, offense that time, just the jumper. Slavica now. Slavica gets inside, puts it up and in. Well, that's one thing you're going to find out. Some, some Croatian players here can play ball, there's no doubt about it. Brunson drives in, has the ball knocked out of bounds. They have four players on this team, and the four take Filipovic out of it, but the other four players on this starting five are real prospects. And Filipovic is not a bad point guard himself either. Ferguson. Uh, now Brunson puts it up from long range. And Onowaku, an impressive rebound coming over Zubats. Didn't Haven't seen that at all, really. So that's suddenly the emergence of Onowaku, and he travels. You know, it's interesting. Zubats plays him tough in the low post, gives him space, and then when Onowaku puts the ball on the floor, that's when you create the contact. Just enough to get those feet shuffled by the big center from Louisville. So Jackson and Trier go out. Harry Giles comes in as well as LJ Peak. Yeah, each of these American players are going to get about four or five minutes on the floor, get the job done, sit down. Not much time to get settled, that's for sure. You've got to get the job uh, done pretty quickly. Filipovic 
Beats it, gets it over to Slavica. This is good tempo here from Croatia, Jeff. Exactly the way they want to play it. Slow down game. Slavica and the quick hands from Onuwaku takes it away. Now it's over to Peak. He explodes to the basket. And Filipovic steps in front of him and draws the foul. You know, Filipovic has done a great job here. Make sure there's no easy layup. Gets his body in between it. Great hands from the, uh, the big man. Yeah, so we're seeing some positives uh, from Onuwaku. Now Ferguson comes out and Jason Tatum comes in. So Peak gets free throws for that foul. And puts, puts up the first one and misses it. Plays uh, college basketball at Georgetown. Hails from Gaffney, South Carolina. Famous for the giant peach. If you've ever driven down uh, I-85, <laughs> you see the giant peach. No, not recently. The big water tower. Now the inbounds pass to Filipovic. He's going to bring it up. Great pressure from Brunson. He's such a great defender. We talked about it last night. He's eyeball to eyeball, whatever he plays against. And now Slavica drives in and tries to get something. Yeah, a little optimistic. I think Slavica would have been better off going the other side of the rim and just attacking it. Got some serious elevation on his jump. Here you go. Giles just managed to just squeeze him further past the baseline and Onuwaku uh, again gets the hand on the ball and knocks it out of bounds so a good start for Onuwaku Bozic puts up a tough three-pointer had peak right on him and Brunson who's uh, heading off to Villanova saves it before it goes out of bounds now peak gets inside and another foul called against Croatia yeah, that's good work from Peak, just attacking Bozic. Bozic got the foul. I thought he played pretty decent defense. Shaking his head, he can't quite believe it. Well, foul trouble is something that this uh, Croatian team simply cannot get into. Because clearly, Nazor is reluctant to go to his bench, too deep to his bench. I think you're right, Jeff. If they control tempo, it may be less of a factor. 8-4, the uh, United States haven't managed to really get out on the break where they love to play. Well, U.S. struggled with uh, their free throws last night. And so far, just 2 of 4 tonight. He's a 6-10 center playing point guard here, calling the plays. Rapovic sets the pick and rolls. And he gets it back from Slavica. And again, uh, the quick hands of Onuwaku is able to knock it away. And Arapovic, you can see that they have really homed in on him. He's yet to do, do much at all. Yeah, he knows he's in the low post. If he goes against Onuwaku, he's got a tough matchup. And Filipovic uh, gets it to Arapovic. Giles now. Bozic puts up a three. And Slavica hits it out of bounds. Or no, Zubac hits it out of bounds. And if they're not going to make jump shots, it is going to be a long night for this for Croatian team. Going to just push up the floor slightly here. A little bit of 2-2-1 press. And Giles over to peak. I mean, the difference is the USA defense is really intense, getting the hand in the face on those jump shots that they're missing. And I think Zubats may have been pushed off, and Onowaku got away with it. It's the best start I think uh, Nwaku's made in this tournament. He's really been a factor. Bozic takes it up himself. And the kick. So it's going to be 16 seconds on the shot clock. Nwaku saying, I didn't kick it. He just threw it off my leg. It's, it's, it's testament to Nwaku too. He's the only starter that's not been subbed out yet. I think Swanigan will not be long on that bench. But Look at, uh, it's a did great you see, start. You saw Nazor taking Zubats to task. Because he wasn't doing well, I think he's just been slightly intimidated. And now he's just sent him to the bench, almost as if to say, "Don't back talk me." Uh, Bozic gets inside, puts it up and in. Tough, tough move from Bozic. Just easy to walk out of the way. Boy, Nazor is absolutely livid, going right at Zubac. Yeah, there's only one winner there. And I'm not sure we're going to see him for a while. And we would not have said that before this game. I think I think he'll come back in. There's a mismatch waiting to happen with a far side. Well, it passes back out to Tatum. 
And Tatum puts up the jumper, and no good. But again, and this time a push called on Harry Giles. Watch this. He's just saying, watch out for the hold. Actually, it wasn't a push on Giles. He, he came down, but uh, looked like maybe Onwaku again got away with a little shove. So he comes out of the game, but the foul was on Giles. Yeah, Caleb Swanigan no, just stepped into the game for Onwaku. We can't see it. Now, there you see, now Nazor has been really going at Zubats, and I mean chewing him out. And he went back to drive home his point again, and by the end of it, he patted him on the head. So I think that's fair enough to say he is coming back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Only one winner, but you got to mend the bridges you break down. But he's the player. He's the player that you said was going to be on the bench before all of the, the yeah, chaos right. happened in the Croatian team with Bender, with the injury to Zizic. Still choking to him. And he's emerged as a key man now. So he needs he needs him. Zubac has just nodded his head. I think that could be the sign of approval he wants. Well, Slavic gets it inside, puts it up, and Giles kept it away from Croatia, but knocked it out of bounds. He noticed the shot there from Slavica, number 10 for Croatia. Had to go sky hook to just to make sure that he didn't get his shot blocked. That's how effective this USA team are defensively. The intimidation factor is always going to be there. Filipovic can't get it in, and he does just get it in in time to Bozic. Uh, good defense. Now, Peek on Bozic. Bozic, spin move, gets in the lane pretty well against Peek, puts it up, and banks it in. Tell you what, get back to the playground. Tough, tough move and from just, Bozic. A lot of notes being taken by the scouts <laughs> behind us after that move from Bozic. And now the alley pass, and Karacic, who's come in for Zubac, defended it well. And then a, a difficult pass, and now another foul has been called on Harry Giles. Yeah, it is indeed, Jeff. That's uh, two fouls for Giles. He's I'm not sure he's going to walk straight to the bench. He might well be. Well, that was a dangerous pass that you know, it's a hustle foul too, Arapovic right? uh, tried to make. Look at Bozic. But Peak could not believe he scored the yeah, best. LJ Peak is a, a defensive specialist. So he comes no out. No doubt about that. That's a tough, tough move from Bozic. That started at the halfway line, too. Look at the scores. 10 to 8. Is, they're playing at Croatia's tempo. The USA not getting out and running yet. Bozic is now going to inbound the ball. I think the thing about this USA team, as all USA teams, they can put points on the board very quickly. 10 points in a minute and a half easily. Open up games in a split second. Boy, Filipovic is going to be one tired point guard when this is all said and done. We're not sure if Kapusta is going to play because he got injured yesterday, his ankle. And now the bounce pass to Slavica. Turn around, tough shot, banks it in. And I'll tell you what, Ferguson was right up on him. Got some elevation, isn't he, Slavica? And going old school with that bank shot. And Caleb Swanigan in the game. Number 13 just sets the pick for Tatum. And Tatum drives in, puts up a tough shot. And here is Filipovic. And you can see Nazor, the coach, telling him to move it forward. Push it up the floor. Filipovic brings it back out. Caleb Swanigan on the three-point line playing denial defense. As Bozic goes up. And Swanigan's playing denial defense on Arapovic on the three-point line. I'm so sure there aren't many occasions he has to do that too often back home. Oh, great defense from the USA. You saw them surround Bozic. And Karacic uh, got inside and tried to save it, but threw it, didn't get it in. So he was the last man to touch it out of bounds. Uh, entry pass to Caleb Swain again, and the Purdue Boilermaker puts it up and in. Yeah, I think they've got to do a lot more of that. Just pile it in there, run the sets, run the sets, your pick and roll screens. Just use the low post more, wear them down. But right now, Rapovic just not able to get into it. The Sadovita Zagreb star. And he puts up a three. And Karacic is playing pretty well coming off the bench. Just beat Swanigan to it, didn't he? Filipovic. Ferguson on him. Filipovic for three. And well long. And now a foul on Rapovic, who has yet to score. First foul. But I noticed the stats from the first game they played about five days ago that Arapovic and Zubac weren't main factors. They had double-figure points. 
It's the other players that they're relying on right now to produce. And at 12 10, Jeff, you can't say they haven't started having a good start. Well, wholesale substitutions uh, for the U.S. I mean, you know, there's no need to force it if you're Rapovich. And inside, Brunson goes, and the follow from Josh Jackson. Boy, he crashes the boards, doesn't he? Yeah, I like the, the direct play from Jalen Brunson. Looks like he might have taken a little hit there on the hip. Sure, he'd be okay. Slavica over to Rapovich, and he puts up a three. Finally! Now it's a two-pointer. I think it was two. So 14 to 12. And that's the weakness of that run and jump defense. You get shooters on the other end who can shoot the three. You're uh, chasing shadows. Triers hit a three. This is his second attempt now, and he misses. And Karacic with the rebound. And Croatia showing so no signs of cracking here against the USA. Slavica. Final minute of the first quarter. And Bozic drives in, puts it up, and missed the layup. And uh, USA, uh, Thomas Welsh, UCLA center, gets the rebound. Now Ferguson into the corner to Trier. Brunson, three-point, that's on. His foot was inside, rather. Jeff, I don't understand that. You've got Rapovich guarded by Brunson. And they've got pick and rolls that let the Croatians switch back Filipovic to Brunson. It was just a complete lack of understanding what was on the floor. So the final 13 seconds here in Croatia, if they can get it up the court, will have the last shot. So Bozic is going to take it. Well, he's showing himself to be a pretty good ball handler, but that time kind of fumbles it. Yeah, probably a bit too much going on there with Bozic needed to pass earlier. My word, he's a, he's a cagey character, that's for sure. That had to be close to a foul, surely. The Greek referee, as you look at Sean Miller, has gone up and had words with Ferguson and Slavica. So f just over five seconds left here in the first quarter. Filipovic. Gets it to Rapovic quickly into Slavica, and he is fouled. Had a chance for what? a three-point play if he'd made that. You talk about off-the-ball cut so quick from Slavica. Caught Terrence Ferguson napping and just cut to the basket. Reverse layup. Great look from Arapovic. I don't think you saw how quick that cut was on the weak side coming in. USA thinking, is this the same Croatian team that we beat by 20 points earlier in this tournament? Yeah, and they were up by uh, 10 the first quarter, 20 at halftime. But it was, a, it was a shootout at the OK Corral, 180 points in total. So Nazor's uh, got to like the position of where his team is right now. Just under three seconds here, remaining in the quarter. Slavica makes just one of two, but they get it back. Arapovic puts it up, and... Good defense. I think it was Ferguson or Welsh got a hand in his face. So the USA leading it 14 to 13 after a, a very interesting first quarter. Well, Croatian did exactly what they set out to do, make it a slow game, 14-13. It's a great way to start for them. Now, is there any cause for concern, uh, Mick, as we look at the first uh, quarter statistics, if you're Croatia? Well, look at the numbers on the left there, Jeff. Three of 12 inside the arc. I don't think that's happened all tournament. For the USA? For the USA, yeah. Incredible. And they're matching them on the boards exactly. I think that would change. I think that's a set before. The USA have the potential to open up teams very, very quickly, very speedy down the floor. And once the running game gets going, you make a couple of mistakes around the halfway line on the, against this press, and they get going, and all of a sudden they've got four or five points on in the space of 30 seconds. Of course, the, the big development in this game is that Zubats, who has emerged as a real factor for Croatia in this tournament, came out of the game. Uh, he's back in now. He's out of the doghouse now. He was being chewed out by the coach, had a little argument, and Zubats is now going to come back. So... Good minutes from Karacic. 
And we still haven't seen uh, Borna Kapusta yet, the backup point guard. Who did his ankle yesterday, so what you, you, you question whether how much he's going to contribute today. But going back to Zubats, I think you're going to find the player coming onto the floor now with a, a grip between his teeth because you do not want to uh, attract the attention of Coach Nazor again. So Onuwaku, who's been impressive for the USA, is going to come back in here. Fourteen to thirteen. USA on top of Croatia here after the first quarter in the final of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship. We're on the island of Crete in Greece. Not a bad place to visit if you're ever in the area. And. USA are the defending champions. Now Zubac has come back into the game for Croatia. Number 13, Slavica puts up the jumper, and Croatia have taken the lead. Yeah, he's got everything, hasn't he, Slavica? The ability to get up high, rebound, it's Ferguson down the other way. Well, Ferguson buries the two-pointer, the long jumper. We saw him do it twice last night against Greece, answer Greece baskets uh, with big shots. And Kapusta is going to come into the game. So that's good news. And great hustle, and over and back is good. going to be called on Slavica. It's a good call because Slavica catches it in the air before his feet have hit the ground. He might see a slow motion in a minute. This pass went through onto the floor. There. Good call. The referee at the halfway line didn't see it. It was the referee down the floor who saw it. So Kapusta is in the game, number four. He was carried off the court yesterday by Rapovic. So we've got two point guards now on the floor, possibly because of the U.S. pressure. And Josh Jackson misses the jumper, is able to hustle back and get it, but he saves it inbounds to Zubats. Interesting, Croatia have gone double point guard on the floor, Kapusta and Filipovic. Bozic gets inside, and the foul as the Rapovic went up. The old curl play there from Bozic. A couple of dribbles into the lane, draws the defense forward. And the Rapovic, great hands from the big man, number 15 for Croatia, goes up. And you got to love Josh Jackson, Jeff. He's just everywhere, is he? Defensive rebound, offensive rebounds. So that was Jackson, his first foul. And Arapovic, who has played in the EuroLeague, and, you know, if you're not familiar, if you're not from the part of the world where you know the EuroLeague, it's the top European competition. Played this past season with Zagreb, Cedevica Zagreb. Played for Jasmine Repesa. They were champions, too, in Croatia, weren't they? The 3-1 uh, playoff victory over Sibona. So you're talking about a player that has a lot of experience. So Croatia back in front. It's a, almost a chess match here with their coach, Nazor. Now Ferguson again puts up a three, and this time is off target. And that's almost playing into the Croatians' hands, isn't well, it? Three-two defense. You haven't got the ball inside. Maybe to that high post to exploit some uh, weaknesses. Now Bozic. And got to be careful putting it on the ground, but he gets inside. And again, misses, but this time it was Arapovic that goes in and taps it in. Say, remember the name, Arapovic. He's got a big, big Oh, future. beautiful pass from Ferguson to Onowaku. And Onowaku, <laughs> he's an entertainer, isn't he? Looks at the camera after the dunk. So quick down the floor. And a reach. And that's the second foul on Jackson. And that's the way they play. They play uh, in-your-face defense, hands all over your hip. And the referee then has to make a choice whether to call the fouls all the time. It's their corner fairly close this game. So Giles is going to come in as well as uh, Juwan Evans. I think it almost cost them the game yesterday, the foul trouble, Jeff, with this uh, physical defense. Filipovic gets inside. Kind of in no man's land. Passes back outside to Bosnich, who has to take a tough shot. And great defense that time from Tatum. 
Evans brings it across midcourt, gets inside and is blocked by Bozic. And I think a foul has been called on Bozic. Well, he got a bit of contact here with the body. Evans jumps in, and then the block shot afterwards. Possibly Evans a little fortunate to get away with that one. Well, Bozic now has two fouls. And now Bozic, you see him jawing with uh, Ferguson. Or maybe they're just talking about they're having a good tournament. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's what are you guys doing after the game? Or I would guess that it's probably not a friendly conversation. Referee just stepping in to find out. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool, ref. Part of the uh, game plan is the intimidation for both teams, no doubt. Evans uh, makes the free throw. Now we've got it. Missed the first, made the second. So the USA are three of six at the line. Well, Tatum's going to have his work cut out here guarding little uh, Kapusta. Kapusta. Bounce pass to Filipovic. Kapusta out to Bozic. Puts up a three off the back of the rim. And Giles quickly. The outlet pass, but led. Ferguson too much. The USA are desperate to quicken the tempo of this game. Well, and it's Ferguson so quick out of the blocks, too. I like the way uh, Bozic is playing. Bozic is going to sit down now. Two fouls. He just missed his last two three-pointers. Got Look such at a this. quick release. What's he saying? Uh, nothing much, really. I think he's just, just pointing out that he just needs to settle down. I think if those jumpers had gone down, he'd be a hero. And uh, all would be well with Coach Nazor. I don't think Coach Nazor is too upset with him. And another hold on Tatum. And there you go. If you get that close, the referees are going to have to make a decision one way or the other, and they've called it close so far. Slavica hands it off to Zubac. He's been quiet. He's going to go straight at Onuwaku, and he's pushed by Onuwaku. Here we go, Jeff. The ref's getting uh, just interested in all this contact that's going on. I wonder if Coach Miller will downsize and put Brunson in with Evans and match up the two guards with uh, Croatia, which we haven't seen yet in the tournament. He gets it to Zubats. On Waku again, up against Zubats. Filipovic puts up a jumper. And Tatum takes the ball away from Kapusta. Now, quickly, peak. And Giles spins, goes to his right on Rapovic, and then turns it over to Slavica. Now it's a fast break. Filipovic open for three. Good! And Croatia turned the turnover into points. Well, there's a fast break going the other way, too. Tatum gets inside, puts it up, misses, gets it back. And a foul has been called. Yeah, a lot of ball on that, but I think there's a lot of body, too. It's a, uh, Zubac has got the foul. Let's have a look. Just reaching over with a contact arm to arm. <laughs> you can't see if You can see Nazwar there to the right. He was going out coaching his team. He's like two feet out onto the court. And the referee says, come on, coach, get back closer to your bench, please. This is a, it's a tough game to, to call this one for the refs, I think. <laughs> and Tatum makes the first one. The USA will be happy if they can definitely uh, speed up the game. You can see in that last play, as you said, Tatum getting down the floor. And that's Jackson's kind of game as well. He's in there. I think Brunson might go in there and try and figure out this zone of Croatia. It's a bit of a 3-2. They need to attack it high and low. Filipovic hands it off to Zubats, and they get the dunk. There's a three-second break against the press. No defense at all. They sliced all the way through the Croatian defense. Giles offers nothing. He has two fouls. Can ill afford to pick up the third. And the little maestro Filipovic dancing his way down the floor. Well, call your friends. If they're not watching this game, they should be. It's 24-21, Croatia on top of a lot of five-star talent and a lot of co top collegians uh, from the United States here in the FIBA Under-19 World Championship. 
It's heating up, folks, here in Crete, Greece. So Jeff, Coach Miller's taking this time out. Very upset, very irate that Croatia get the ball down so quickly against his press. At what point, or is there a point that perhaps you go back into a half-court solid defense and not give up that penetration down the floor and say, listen, you're not going to beat us that easily again. I thought there was times last night where they didn't have to foul as much with the full court press and maybe come back into a hard half court, but they stuck with it and it ended up proving dividends in the end. But uh, maybe a more wily team with this Croatian squad. Well, I think cr the crucial, crucially, Kapusta is able to come in and give them minutes today. Yeah, and you know, both of these Croatian guards, everybody looked at the tournament and said, this Croatian team is not as strong because the guards aren't big. But look at them, they're both on the floor right now, and they're both doing a job. Yeah, Bender was also going to play with Zizic. They lost, uh, they're missing three players, right? So... Croatia going back man to man here. They're not going to look to, I mean, Tatum's being guarded by Kapusta. Now Giles gets inside, puts it up, and a foul on Zubats. And there's the strength of Harry Giles, the quickness off the uh, off the dribble. Just caught Zubats sleeping slightly, look, look of resignation on his face. And that's his second foul. And Harry Giles makes the first. He's had already overcome a serious knee injury in his uh, young career. Hasn't decided yet where he's going off to university. Saw this yesterday, didn't we? Uh, USA downsizing. Giles at the five, Tatum at the four. So Filipovic pops out. And a little pass over to Arapovic. Kapusta. And to Rapovich, late in the shot clock, he makes the pass to Slavica, he has to put it up. And he was short, and it was Giles that gets the rebound. Now Tatum passes back to a cutting Giles! Are you kidding me? What a tremendous hustle play, an alert pass from Tatum. Outstanding work for Tatum, but I'm not, I think he was on a bit of a prayer, hoping that Giles was following up. Got bumped out of bounds slightly, got in the air before he made the decision to pass it. Into Zubats and the quick hands of Jackson knocks it away and suddenly everything is changing for the USA. Tatum gets inside, misses the layup. Croatia now with a chance to run. It's a three on two break. Filipovic, what will he do? He'll go all the way, he misses, but Arapovic there for the follow. What a follow in from Arapovic from one end of the floor to the other. It was a three-on-two break with the trailer being a Rapovich. Well, Tatum had his opportunity there. And has gone zone to combat this, uh, this quick lineup from the United States. But they find Jackson inside. He passes out to Tatum. He's open. It's on line, and it's three. Just a slight hesitation as Jason Tatum caught the ball and then fired it off. But uh, beautiful work from the U.S against that Croatian zone. So they pause play here so they could get the net down after Tatum stroked the three. It was hung up on the rim. And USA trying to trap. Kapusta read it. Now inside to Zubats, and they get an easy layup. And again, the pressure creates the opportunity if you beat it. Well, you come and double, and the, the guards are looking for it. They see an easy option out, and the ball is moved so quickly. And Rapovich uh, prevents the pass to Giles. Yeah, you got to love the way Harry Giles just dredges along the baseline of a zone, looking for opportunities. There's the pass from Brunson. We saw it last night. Rafovic's big uh, size 15 gets in the way. Probably even bigger than that. Peak into Giles again. Left hand. And Rapovic with the rebound. Over to Kapusta. 
Just went back man to man on the out of bounds. Just maybe caught US on by surprise. A good shot there from Giles. They get it to Rapovich inside. He puts it up and in. Giles with the two fouls. Didn't try to block it. He just raised his hands. And Croatia back in front. Now peak for three. And Giles coming from behind, putting him under pressure, and Zubats can't control it. That was a quick shot from uh, LJ Peak against that zone. Maybe a little discipline needed. Jackson and Peak out. Trier and Unwaku come in. Yeah, they can afford to go man to man here, Croatia. Match up a little better. Rapovic on Giles and Zubac on Unwaku. Well. Brunson's pass knocked away. Three or four to go in the first half. It is a humdinger in Crete. Tatum. Tatum puts it up from behind the free throw line and ties it. You know, quiet game last night for Tatum, but my word, that's uh, got him going right now. Back-to-back -back jump shots. Kapusta, left open, passes back out to Rapovic. And Rapovic goes to work, gets to Kapusta, puts up a three, that's off to the left. And Giles comes in. Now oh, Brunson hasn't been quite as influential tonight as he was against Greece, and Giles gets inside, and Zubac with the rebound. Now, Filipovic passes up to Slavica, and great hustle from Trier, but I, you know, even if he catches it, what's he going to do? He's surrounded by just USA a tough, players. Tough pass, just a little too long for him. Maybe if he'd caught it, might have got his wits about him and steadied himself and score. But you're right. I think it was uh, a little optimistic. Want this high-low option here with a Rapovic, don't they? And Capusta was bumped by Trier. And some uncomfortable looks uh, behind us uh, in the USA fan section sitting behind the bench. Well, nobody said this was going to be an easy game, that's for sure. As soon as it becomes a slow down game, and it's not high school, and the States had 50 in the, uh, in the game they played earlier in the week at halftime, and they're on 30 right now. So it's definitely below tempo for them. Well, he makes one of two, but Rapovic with the rebound. And he gets it back out to Filipovic. Now Slavica is up top and he's calling the play. This is a very interesting player for me, Slavica. Puts it down. He's going to put up a three. And again, the offensive rebound, but great quick hands from Tatum. Almost got it. Just an outstanding rebound, wasn't it? Arapovic for three, and that's an air ball into the hands of Brunson. And look at the quick pass up to Tatum in the USA. Moves back in front. Yeah, that's how to run the lanes. Tatum was out quick. Trio was out quick. And maybe a little bit of a momentum gathering here before halftime. Well, it happened last night against Greece. Filipovic leans in, puts it up, and the follow. And Zubac couldn't quite get it to go down. And Brunson beats Croatia to the ball, and then Filipovic fouls Brunson. And I suppose the only victory for Croatia there is that they get the foul and stop the fast break, the change in momentum. Uh, Brunson comes out. Bozic comes back in. Jeff, you look over to uh, Marko Arapovic. He looks exhausted right now. You, you know full well he's going to have to punch all the way through this game. He's not going to get too many minutes short of 40. I'll tell you what, Brunson looked pretty tired coming out as well. So timeout, 32-31. USA on top and just under a minute remaining in the first half. Do you think, do you think fatigue is a factor at all for uh, maybe some of the USA players? No. No, no, I don't. Not at I all. I think Brunson looks a little tired, but he's spending the effort tonight. But you know what? He's only got to think of the Croatian minutes that they played in this semifinal last night and the minutes they're going to have to play tonight, and that should uh, just pop him up straight away. There's nobody more tired on this floor the Marko Rapovic, I promise you that. The amount of work he's done over the last three days. 
and they just gotta hang with it the United States just make sure they get conversions on the fast break run solid offense against their zone they're gonna see a lot of zone in the second half So Bozic has had a good rest. Now, is this a gamble, bringing Bozic back in with 57 seconds left? He's got the two fouls. I don't think Nazor is really concerned too much. I think he trusts him. He's uh, got a lot of confidence. Here's the zone from Croatia again. He's got confidence in uh, his players. They've come all the way through this tournament. It's do or die now. So they just switched into a man. Yeah. So Show they disguised zone, it in the zone. Trier gets inside, puts it up, and gets the layup. Yeah, Slavica, sorry, uh, Zubac was caught out at the last minute as Trier came around and uh, just caught him with a little head fake. See Sean Miller barking orders on one knee for the USA. And then Ferguson, needless foul with nine seconds on the shot clock and that puts Croatia on the line well it was a pick and roll one way and then you reset the screen the other way just uh, something that as a defender it just gives you nightmares guarding the ball and you're trying to squeeze through that get ahead of the dribbler and you just don't get quite get there in time Croatia now six of nine at the free throw line and Kapusta is uh see what his averages are for the tournament what he's had today and he misses both so suddenly the usa with a chance to take their biggest lead of the game yeah important uh, important offense here don't walk his screens trier is going to get in the lane again he had nowhere to go this time they did step in front of him and slavica can't quite get it enough oh <laughs> shame too but that's how it finishes. Sean Miller telling Trier he wanted the, I think, the jump shot. And in any event, the USA have taken a 34-31 lead to halftime here at the final of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship in Crete. Well, the USA uh, field goal percentage now it's just 39 percent and yes. we're not used to seeing that at all that's the first time this tournament i think we've seen such under 40 percent at halftime we at the end of the first quarter it wasn't great croatia 11 of 24 you know croatia have missed a few little chippies in there rebound offensive rebounds they've got balls stripped out of hands with a three-point lead i think the usa will be happy with those numbers well absolutely you know Last night, Greece struggled from three-point range, and we've seen the same thing here in the first half from Croatia. I'm just wondering if they're going to improve on their one of ten shooting from long range. That could change things uh, around a lot. And USA have more turnovers than Croatia. That's another thing that's uh, kind of unusual. Well, we said yesterday, when Greece opened up the second half, if, if the Croatia come out and hit a lot of threes, then the USA are in a ball game. Now, remember, the USA came in after halftime yesterday and really turned up the heat. They scored a lot of points in that second half. I expect the same again And it's tonight. Interesting, interesting, even though Rapovic hasn't been quite as dominant tonight, look at what he's got at halftime, 10 points and 8 rebounds. Well, think of the little dirty points he's got, you know, yeah. following in on fast breaks, put little chips in and offensive rebounds. A, almost a double-double at halftime. Tatum has uh, not started, but he's come off the bench and he's got nine points. And yeah, he might be the difference tonight. You know, he's uh, had a great tournament, had a quiet night last night. Well, he said that he might well be the uh, the icebreaker that gets this game, brings this one home. Jackson has uh, the five rebounds for the USA. You know, last night it was Brunson. I mean, he was clearly far and away the best player in the court. And then with Tyler Dorsey probably of Greece the next best player and probably the luxury the USA have they can they can go from night to night and have somebody else step up Brunson maybe he'll have a big second half coming up so stick around second half action coming your way here from Crete Greece
34-31, the United States on top of Croatia here in the final of the FIBA Under-19 World Championship in Crete. And uh, it's been an exciting uh, first half without question. USA wanting to get out and run, not really able to against this Croatian team that's, uh, you have to say, has really controlled the tempo. And USA still getting on top by three points. Uh, trying to win this title for the second time in a row. And I have to say, they they had a struggle last night. They're having to struggle tonight, but that's that's what it's all about. It's a world championship. Well, Mick, uh, we've come this far with both of these teams. We've seen Croatia really grow in the tournament. Obviously, they were they lost by a significant margin to the United States the first time that they met, but, you know, the knockout games are, are far more important. Yeah, no doubt about Go back to that game, though, midweek uh, Jeff and the minutes were spread around the minutes have not been spread around tonight Arapovic is going to play close to 40 minutes so is uh, Slavica, Bozic Zubac is obviously not going to get too close to 40 minutes because he got yanked out first quarter Hello and welcome back to Crete, Greece. It's the FIBA Under-19 World Championship final between the United States and Croatia. And the United States on top 34-31. It has been one heck of a game so far. Harry Giles starting here in the second half, gets inside. Josh Jackson there for the follow. USA crashing the boards. Jackson gets it back and finally puts it in. Well, look at the bench too, Jeff. Uh, Jeff all the bench are up. Double rebound there on the offensive end from Josh Jackson. This team is now fired up. 20 minutes left in this tournament for them, and uh, they want to create some daylight. And the defense will get you there. They'll win your championships. Well, Slavica pushed off with his left arm there, and Brunson was complaining. Rapovic for three, and Bozic goes up for the rebound, but Jackson was able to take it away from him. And all of a sudden, we got the running game going. And the foul committed beforehand by Slavica. So it's a five-point lead for the USA. And they really have uh, tried to set the tone here well, for the, the first in, possession. The, the intensity coming out, exactly right. I'd have loved to have been in that uh, locker room to see what was going on, but I'm sure they all got each other fired up. Brunson gets inside. Quiet first half from him. Now Ferguson over to Giles again. He misses, but again, USA crashed the boards. Onwaku had a, had a one-footer, but couldn't put it back. Now Croatia trying to take perhaps some of the steam out of the game, and Onwaku just swats it. But Zubac gets it back, and Onwaku gets a quick hand and knocks it out of bounds. Boy, wow. what a block from Onwaku. Yeah, and they're fighting for their lives right now, USA. They know full well this game is close. Onwaku had a great start to the game. What a great start to the second half, too. Yeah, and he, the hands on Zubats. Yeah, he's, he's come out to play tonight, no question. Rapovic. Back to Bozic. Slavica, pump fake. And he gets the basket. So that gets it back to a three-point game. And everybody took that pump fake from Slavica. Look at this. Jackson goes flying by. Now Jackson's going to put up a three. It's good. You know, I think Jackson and Ferguson, as far as quick-fire jump shooting, has been outstanding this tournament. And the, the pass to Zubats, and then just a, a difficult pass from Zubats over to Filipovic. That had to be the worst pass I've seen since I've been here from Zubats along the baseline to your point guard who wasn't even looking. And the coach is beside himself. Nazor, he can't believe he attempted it. Mental error there from uh, Croatia. Chance now to really extend this lead. Karacic is going to come back in for that. Giles gets inside, follows up the shot again. And boy, he is not going to be denied. Look at him wrestling away that ball from Arapovic. And then Bozic steps in to protect his teammate. Arapovic wasn't bothered by it, but Bozic is... Uh, has been jawing with I'm, some of the other players. Look I'm, at this. I'm not even sure Rapovic even looks at Giles here. Good no, work from both players. Looks up at the scoreboard. That's the, 
That's the bizarrest thing, and all of a sudden it kicked off. Now both teams want it badly. Zubac's so who's, back whose in ball the is it? Zubac's back in the doghouse here, Jeff. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hear it. So it is gonna be USA ball. You know, he had the ball under in his hand. The foul was the on a Rapovich. Yeah. So the foul was called on a Rapovich. So it's the USA with a six-point lead and possession. Jackson has been uh, the man with the spark here so far. And he's got the ball in his hands. He drives, gets inside, he misses, and Bozic goes up and then draws the foul. Now is that Giles' is third? And now Slavitz is having words with... Anwaku's with foul. <laughs> Slavitz is having words with Josh Jackson. These guys aren't going to back down. No, no, you, and you can guarantee that any Croatian team you play against is going to play hard all the way through. And they get to Filipovic. He's being chased by Brunson. Saw Karacic to his right and thought, that's not the person I want on the break. Bozic goes baseline. Filipovic again being guarded by Brunson. He gets it over to Karacic, and that's probably not option A. And Nazor, you can see, a little bit frustrated with uh, his team's approach offensively now. And Brunson gets inside. And offensive foul called on the USA. And all it is is over-enthusiasm, trying to get an offensive rebound. Karacic gets nudged out the way by Giles. Third foul for him. I didn't see Giles doing do much there no. on that angle, but it must have, something just, must have happened. Just a little elbow on the shoulder just to drag him back. Filipovic. Looks like uh, Brunson's uh, shifted into a higher gear here in the second half. He was the man of the hour last night, that's for sure, against Greece. And Rapovic double teamed, and Ferguson this time stepped in and intercepted the pass. Well, Anti Nazur may have Zubac in the doghouse, but he's got to get him back in the game. And he's still having to go at him for the mistake down the other end. That's why I had to take you out. Tatum, meanwhile, is in the game for the USA. With Giles out. Uh, Tatum puts it up. That's off to the left. Just and lost their way offensively there. I'm not sure what they were doing. Now Slavica gets inside. A little bit out of control. Gets it back. And what a stroke of good fortune for Croatia. A very difficult shot by Slavica, he gets it back and gets fouled while he puts it back in. Look at this. Now Jackson picks up the foul. So that is, in fact, uh, Jackson now has three fouls. He has to come out. And Trier is going to come back in for him. You know, that's a great, great start to this third period by the USA, but, you know, the Croatians have just hung on, and it's still only a four-point game. And as we're still talking to Zubac. Well, this happened in the first half as well. USA had a couple of uh, stormy possessions, but then Croatia kind of held it together. But Trier's left wide open. He missed, but Onuwaku with the rebound, and he was pushed by Rapovic. Yeah, that's unfortunate, because I'm not sure Onuwaku is going to be able to go up and score that. Great position from the, uh, the Louisville man. Now Zubac is going to come in for Rapovic, give him a, a breather. It's his first break of the game, too. Three fouls on Rapovic. So... Zubac has to really stand up tall here. Trier gets inside, puts it up and in. Now we saw that hesitation the first half, little head fake to get to the basket. Same one thing there off his right hand this time. Acceleration, uh, very, very quick Trier. Filipovic gets it to Slavica. Now there's only five on the shot clock. They're going to get the double. Quick, he's going, to have to, he's going to have to chuck it, and he doesn't get it off in time. So great defense from the USA. You know, I wondered how they were going to cope with the Rapovich on the bench, and a 24-second call to first offense. It doesn't look like 
They've got many options once Arapovic is out. And to rethink things. Trier's just scored on the drive. Oh, he just throws it right in the hands of Slavica. He doesn't want to. Oh, oh, and the jam from Slavica. We know he's got the hops. And that was a bad turnover from Trier. Don't even get close to this one. You're in the photograph. Outstanding. Oh. And this time Karacic is called for foul holding Tatum. Or a push. Yeah, it's just this baseline play of the United States run that they try and bump the cutter coming through. Tatum goes to set the screen, and he's just eased out of the way by Karacic. Trier sits down after that uh, mistake on the... So Peek comes back in. Brunson looks down low to Ferguson. Ferguson left open from the corner. That's where he's good, and it is good. Wow. He Get likes it. the three-pointer from the corner. Cut the ball in the low post, fumbled it all the way to the three-point line, drilled it. Well, that takes it up to a seven-point lead now for the USA. Oh, tough ask here, and Tatum fouls from behind. How many is that? Three on him. Three on Tatum. And got into foul trouble last night. Team fouls as well. Fourth team foul for the United States. Karacic now. Arapic, Arapic back in and Karacic feeling the wrath of coach Antti Nasur. Yeah, you can see at the bottom left corner of your screen. The player makes a mistake. He's going to hear about it. Bozic. And now peak. Three on two. Fast break. USA. And back outside, the long jumper from, there he is, the man of the hour last night. Brunson buries the three, and now the USA is starting to get in the flow. They lead it 47-37, and Croatia have taken a timeout. Well, key moment in the game, the USA just surging ahead and forcing Croatia to call the timeout. They came out strong. Uh, Josh Jackson, you know, crashing the boards. Croatia kind of hung in there. Uh, and then suddenly the USA defense started to make a little bit, you know, make some problems for Croatia. I think the score was 41-37 when Slavica missed the free throw. And then back-to-back -back threes, one from Ferguson in the corner when he had a low post catch. And then that three from Jalen Brunson. That's the first three points, the first points of the game for Brunson. You know, you don't look at his performance from the points so much tonight. It'll be how he runs this team. And there's being a flawed general. I said last night, this, this, Jalen Brunson could run a European team right now the way his mind works in basketball. So Rapovic has uh, gotten back in the game. He probably doesn't want to sit too long anyway. Zubat's being pushed out by Onowaku. Uh, Bozic. Five on the shot clock. Filipovic to Arapovic. And Arapovic travels. That's unfortunate. You know, Arapovic did so well in making sure Tatum stayed on his back. There's the post up. There's the step through spin. And just a little too many steps in the end. Rapovic moves his feet on defense. Tatum puts up the jumper. And he's just trying to draw the fourth foul out of Rapovic there, taking off the dribble. I think Slavica and Zubac really have to step up here. And instead, Tatum gets his fourth foul. Wow. Jeff. Tatum picks up the foul. Incredible. Well, he dragged him back. You know, Rapovic is such a good boxer. He's saying a good elbow, but, you know, that's life in the low post. So 
So Tatum, obviously uh, one of the best young players in the world, is going to have to sit down. There's an interesting conundrum right here, Jeff, because in fact it just three fouls. It, it is three fouls. Yeah, I was thinking he had four. The United States are playing small. Giles at the five, Jackson, uh, Ferguson, three, four. Arapovich will post up now whoever is guarding him, and that will be either Ferguson or, or Jackson. Giles will guard the Zubats. I wonder whether Coach Miller will have to go back and put uh, a four, five, true four, five in the game. Well, you just would not believe the talking that's going on between Jack. Jackson and Bosic. Part of the game. And Bosic is the one guarding Jackson. Now, in the 2 3, Brunson, they get it inside to Giles. Giles puts up a tough shot, and it's Bosic with the rebound. And there's the problem. Giles takes the shot. You've got to get an offensive rebounder in there. Now, who's Rapovich being guarded by Ferguson? See the high low they're looking at? And they get it. And outstanding foul Jeff. called beforehand. That is outstanding, fundamental basketball. And, and they just milk it now. So Coach Miller now has to make a decision. Does he bring a five in? See, look at the look at the seal play on the baseline there from Arapovich. Just an outstanding player. So he misses the free throw. Rapovich at the line tonight is now four of five. He's got 12 points, eight rebounds. Now 13 points. Trier comes in for peak. Now Croatia will sit back in his zone again, looking to get a, a miss and a defensive rebound. Each stay way back into this game. Brunson over to Ferguson. So Zubats, Giles, you know he wants to go to the basket. And Giles gets blocked. And this time he misses the dunk. And then Jackson comes in and makes the steal and gets it back for the USA. Wow, wonderful work from two ends. One for the block, double block shot. Giles blocked once. And then the steal from Jackson off the leg of Rapovic, an arm maybe. Well, Rapovic was... Uh, complaining that he hadn't knocked it out, but the referee was right there. And Jackson puts it up, misses, and Arapovic gets it back. He was trying to get the, con there was contact. Trying to draw that fourth foul. Slavica spins, gets inside, and gets it rejected by Giles, but they have called a foul. Well, it, looked, it looked good to me. Referees are in a lot of pressure here. That was a big swat as well. But Giles is fourth, Jeff. Tough call on uh, John, on Harry Giles because uh, that's the best way to answer at the other end is with your defense. And Slavica ends up with a trip to the line. I think the one thing about when you go up for the block shot, if you really swat sometimes, it yeah, might work if, against you a little. If you go too aggressively. Yeah, exactly right. But it looked pretty good to me. Now, Sl Slavica makes both free throws. And it goes back over to the USA now, who lead by five. So they were up 10. Now it's back down to five. Now they've got to make some jump shots against this zone. Got to sink a couple of jump shots, take them out of the zone, bring them back into a man to man. Both teams in the bonus uh, the rest of the way here. Oh, Jackson drives, hands it off to Onowaku, but then the ball fumbled by Onowaku, and Bozic has it. Gets it back to Slavica, and Slavica traveled. Oh, my goodness. The crowd are going to go crazy on that one. So these travel down one end, these things, and they think there's a travel down the other end. These things even out. Yes, they do. And that's the important factor. So Tatum comes back in. Got to milk the high post on this zone. Can you get the ball to Tatum in that high post? Rapovich over to, oh, Ferguson. 
He's been hitting that shot, but he missed it. Uh, Bozic quickly to Rapovic. And he gets it inside, hands it off to Zubac. What a play from Rapovic. I tell you, Jeff, if they don't get somebody in the game to guard Marko Rapovic in that low post, the Croatians will just milk it and milk it all day long. His passing skills are phenomenal. He's got 13 points, 10 rebounds, and three assists. Now the pressure's on the USA to make a jump shot here. Tatum puts up, and Rapovic with the rebound, and he's fouled by Nwaku. You know, it really felt like the USA were about ready to pull away, didn't it? Croatia called the timeout. They got Rapovic back in. And I'll go back to it again. You know, when you play small and Giles at the five, who's going to guard Arapovic in the low post? And that's exactly where Croatia went to, a, to attack the defense of the USA. There's been no reaction because that's three times in the low post now. Arapovic, they've gone to him on a post up, drawn a couple of fouls in a basket. Now, hopefully, Coach Miller will get in there. I think you have to go two bigs in the game. So Swanigan. Bring well, Giles back. Well, he's got four fouls. It's a tough call now. Who do you bring back with Swanigan? Maybe Swanigan. Welsh maybe gets a chance. So that confirms it. Yeah, uh, Giles with the four. You've got the problems because you cannot bring Giles. Giles, yeah, you're outstanding four man. There's no doubt about it. And he can play the five. But right now they need somebody to play some defense. Maybe some zone defense here for uh, the USA. Didn't see it yesterday. We saw it earlier in the tournament. Well, you got Welsh you can bring in. Yeah, I would go big now with Welsh, maybe Nwaku, Swanigan, just to uh, give a different look to Marko Rapovic because he will work all night long on those uh, small three fours. Look at the talking going on here with Bos Bosic and Jackson. He'll shake hands after the game. Jeff, Marco Rapovic's numbers. 13 points, 11 rebounds, yeah, three assists. Unreal. I mean, uh, and Harry Giles is almost uh, averaging a double-double for the tournament. And Rapovic is not, he is a double-double for the whole, through the tournament. But he's played a, a lot of minutes. Yes, true. That's a but good point. But don't get me wrong, Giles has played extremely hard. I mean, there's, there's USA guys, when they go out on the floor, they are playing at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> it's frustrating as a player. And Walker comes out the timeout onto the floor and they sub him out before the, uh, the clock's ticked. So Onuwaku, uh is now Swanigan, Caleb Swanigan in here for the final minute and 14, we would guess. And Rapovic misses the first free throw. Well, Greece missed their free throws the third period yesterday. It's two missed now for Rapovic. Second one is good. Back to a two-point game. Just 10 points, 47-37, 8-0 run for Croatia. And again, the pressure on to make a J. Tatum's wide open in that high post. They've got to get him the ball. Brunson, oh, and Brunson hits the three-pointer. And he could be the difference maker here for the USA. He certainly was last night. And, you know, one more jump shot, one more three will bring them out of that zone, too. And the pass to Zubac, the pass to Rapovic, and Rapovic puts it up and in. <laughs> and they went different that time. Zubac got the pass and then dumped it down to his, uh, his, old, his friendly foe, Marko Rapovic. Get Brunson on the wing, get him an open jump shot. Tatum is going to float in, pass to Swanigan, and they had the shot they wanted, and now Croatia have a chance to take the last shot. How did Swanigan miss that? He needs to dunk it. Rapovic, three seconds, two, one. He puts up a long three, and that's going to be short. Oh, no, and Filipovic got the rebound, and Rapovic just kind of smiles, a wry smile. So we've been singing his praises, but he puts up an air ball at the third. But nevertheless, uh, the USA still only on top by three points here at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, that's a surprising way to finish that quarter, Jeff. 47-37 up. Everybody jumping around. 
And now they're back in a ball game again. Boy, and you know, what's really interesting is the field goal percentage just keeps getting worse and worse for the USA. Unreal. I mean, 11 27. 40. You know, even if, even if they come out and have a great fourth quarter, it's still going to look pretty miserable. Seven three points is for the USA are keeping them ahead of the game. You, who would have thought that? Their domination lies inside the paint, inside the three point line. Well, Brunson has two threes, Ferguson has two threes, and then uh, Trier had that early one. Jackson's had one, and Tatum has had one. And Croatia, one of 12. If they get hot from the three point line, look out. Foul trouble as well when you consider, well, now Croatia, you can see, turned the ball over a lot. Uh, trying to think at halftime, Croatia had turned it over five times. So they had, you know, they had some turnover issues there in the third quarter. But they did kind of stabilize things. And they've avoided picking up silly fouls now I'm gonna ask you a question here Jeff but uh, the answer is gonna be fairly obvious at, at point guard Evans or Brunson because the, the way that it's gone this tournament's gone you've four minutes in four minutes out Evans is gonna get his run sometime Brunson's gonna come out to start this fourth period at some point Evans is coming in and some big minutes expected to replace Brunson the way he's been playing Evans though he only comes in for brief spurts so I'm sure he wants to play as much as possible. 50 to 47, the USA on top here, heading now into the fourth quarter of Croatia with the ball in the red. And Croatia hanging tough. Rapovic puts up a three, and that would have knotted it. But Trier now. Brings it back for the USA, and Swanigan is uh, trying to post up on Zubats. Go back man-to-man. -man. Now, they'll probably stay in this man-to-man -man for a minute or so, maybe sink to zone, try that for a bit. That was very successful third period. Swanigan sets the pick. Foul from Bozic, just holding on to Swanigan's shirt. I'm not sure why he needed to do that, but... So, three fouls on Bozic. Jeff, why would you make a sum after 30 seconds of a quarter? What has Trier done to warrant... Jackson coming in that couldn't have been done at half the, at the, at the, at the, the break. Quarter. Brunson over to Tatum. Out to Jackson for three. Well, he just came in, but that's off to the left, and Slavica comes in and gets the rebound. A lot of speed about that offense from USA. A lot of intent, too. Good to see. Now Slavica puts it up, and he hits the baseline jumper. Outstanding work, outstanding work. If this team gets hot from the perimeter, it's going to be an interesting finish. He's got 17 points. That's back into the zone now, Croatia, just negating the speed. Tatum puts it back in for the USA. And where did he get the ball? At the high post. He's opened so much there. You've got to get him, feed the bear. Get him the ball in that high post. 11 points for Tatum. Slavica has the game high right now, 17. It's a quiet 17. He puts up a three, good! And just like that, we've got ourselves a tie game. Second three-pointer for the Croatian team tonight. Oh, they're we, going to sink back into that zone. We talked about the possibilities that yeah, they started yeah. hitting their threes. And look how much slowed down the USA offense is as compared to against the man-to-man. -man. Brunson probes, passes back out to Ferguson. He's going to take it from the wing and short. And it's going to be Zubac with the rebound. Nervous moments now for the USA watching this Croatian team. And a hold on Jackson, and that is his fourth foul. Now Rapovic knows how so experienced. And this, is the, this is what I've been waiting for, the two bigs in the game for the USA. But they're bringing in Giles with four fouls. Yep. Yep, he's got to be very careful. But now they've got to get somebody. Unfortunately, he's got to go on Rapovic, too. So Rapovic is going to go right at him with those four fouls. Flanagan looks uh, slightly dejected to be coming out. Uh, Zubats thought he'd walked a minute there, and he knocks it out of bounds. 
He was just looking for a Rapovic cut into the hoop. And when he found he was nowhere to be seen, he had to shoot the shot. It was a very awkward one. Man to man for the Croatian. They've changed their defenses up. Might you try to feed it to Giles here? He's going to go inside and follows it up, gets it back, puts it up, misses, and into the hands of Arapovic. And Onuwaku has picked up the foul, and he now has four fouls. It was a good, good little offense there for Harry Giles. Did exactly what was needed. Attack Arapovic, who played excellent defense, but a frustration foul for Onuwaku. You cannot waste fouls. Balzic brings it up. Slavica, he has the game high 20, puts it up again, and off the rim, and Tatum skies for Gotta the run. rebound. Got to push the ball down the floor. You cannot let him set up defensively. Uh, Giles goes right at Arapovic, and he draws the foul. Two shots, and that is now foul number four on Arapovic. He didn't do much wrong, but they were attacking the right guy, that is for sure. And that's the, uh, the added bonus of pushing the ball down the floor when the defense doesn't quite set up. And now you have to go inside again and attack him again. But Giles misses the first. You got to try to, because he can't, he can't play the defense that he wants to play, can no. he? He's going to have to back off. You know what, he plays smart D, though. So he, and the referees will give him a little bit of leeway, I think, on four fouls. I think the referees will know how crucial that is. Giles makes that, so the USA now 8 of 12 at the line, 67%. And Onuwaku comes out, and Swanigan back in. Yeah, Onuwaku's got four fouls, so... Slavica brings it up against Ferguson. Oh, and he skies in and draws the foul. And boy, he is tough, isn't he? Getting to the basket. Jeff, I'll go back to the state. If you play full court de defense and you get beaten halfway, then these guys will go all the way to the hoop. Because they will either do that or draw help for a jump shot. And now Ferguson has four fouls. Boy, the USA have got foul trouble. And you're starting to wonder if they're going to be able to finish. Savica makes the first. So it's Ferguson with four. Jackson has four. Giles has four. Onuwaku has four. And Tatum has three. He's just one of two, and boy, Rapovich was really uh, flirting there, coming from behind. He challenges the missed rebound, goes out of bounds over to Croatia. So Ferguson takes a seat. Peek back in. And Rapovich passes up the jumper. Now he steps back. I think he had the open one. Now Tatum in the open floor. Hello. Oh, Slavica with one of the plays of the tournament. Blocked Jason Tatum. <laughs> what a play. Oh, Unbelievable. Has that ever happened to Jason Tatum? Oh, my word. Jeff, that one's going around the world. That is going around the world. Look at this. Watch it again. Unbelievable. Superhuman meets superhuman. Now Giles goes straight at Arapovic, and he travels. This game is going to heat up right now. And Slavica is on. He is having quite a game. His NBA scouts are scribbling away again. Look at that. Turnovers 10 for the USA, 11 for Croatia. And now Tatum comes back and makes a great play on defense. And Arapovic has he fouled out of the game. He has indeed. What a play. Marco Rapovic has fouled out after the tremendous defensive play from Tatum. Wow, and what an un unfortunate way to foul out at half court. So Rapovic leaves with 16 points, 12 rebounds. And now, really, the onus is on Slavica offensively, I think, and Bozic. They've got to step up. Zubats has got to hang tough inside as well. And now you can see Giles smells blood and he goes straight at it. Goes straight for the weak area, soft touch all of a sudden. And I think the Americans now just sense a bit of confidence coming into the game. What I love about that, uh, Mick, is Tatum 
had his shot blocked, but he goes back and makes a great play on defense to change the complexion of the game. Filipovic at the line. It's good. Hey, you're right, Jeff. It just, it just ignited him a bit, didn't it? Now peak, and the tempo picking up a little bit, perhaps uh, to the USA's liking. Now they should be able to work Brunson open oh, jump shot. Oh, wide open peak for three. Good. Well, the USA are really stroking the three-pointer tonight. They have got eight to fall, eight of 17, 47%. They're shooting 28% inside the arc. Five twenty to go. Filipovic, two on the shot clock, has to put up a three. That's short. Now Giles over to Brunson, and Filipovic commits the foul. That is the fourth foul now, the team foul. Well, it was a big three by Peak. The sure. go-ahead three gives them a little bit of breathing room. Oh, absolutely. You look at the faces of the Croatians, Arapovic, the heroes on out. Do they believe they can do this? Do they believe they got five minutes left? I'm not sure. Well, Karacic comes over the back of Giles. That's a poor foul. You know, there's poor foul. You got, you, you're playing from behind him. You've got to let him catch it and go to work. It's their favorite set play, the USA. I think the next minute and a half, Jeff, you might see this one just blow open. Blow open a little bit, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Just well, The USA fans can hardly watch, and he gets it to go in. We're starting to sense uh, the turn in momentum, the shift in momentum for the USA. With Rapovich having fouled out of the game, and Giles makes both free throws. USA now 10 of 14. The defending champions now up by five. Slavica brings it back out. Uh, Zubats goes right at Swanigan. And that's a tough shot. And Giles just goes up with the rebound. Yeah, unopposed to. Nobody else following in for an offensive rebound. They need the ball right now. Tatum gets inside, puts up a... A little bit of an out-of-control shot, and Slavica brings it back for Croatia. Puts up a three. Good! Well, that's a big turn right there. That's a problem. One bad shot down one end, and it's responded to straight away. No, that was a two-pointer, not a three. Must have had his foot on the line. Boy, Slavica has been phenomenal. Got a workout for an open jump shot. Brunson and Slavica with another rebound. And Slavica... 23 points, five rebounds, four assists, and he's got the ball. And he ran into Swanigan, but then uh, Peek reached in and was called for a foul. Jeff, I just wonder against that zone, they don't just work Tatum on that high post and put the two lows down low. Tatum's coming out here, so that's not going to happen. Uh, Tatum is coming out of the game. The Croatian bench was looking up at us and trying to say something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Anyway, Filipovic takes on Brunson, back outside to Karacic for three. And, well, he was open. Wow. That was an open look. Wide open. Swanigan wants it down low. He's backed off again. You know, man to man again, Croatia. Croatia look exhausted, Slavica especially. So he gets a chance to breathe. He's got his hands on his knees. Now Giles goes inside, puts it up, misses, and Karacic with the rebound. Balzic to Kar Karacic. And five on four for a split second. And in it goes, and Zubac, and unbelievable Zubac. Gets it in and gets it back to a one-point game. Zone again for Croatia. Zone on the make and uh, man on the miss. Brunson's on this near side. Weak side jump shot wide open. 
Oh, oh. And the pass goes out of bounds. A misread. Brunson cut to his left. And now Croatia with an opportunity to go back in front. Jeff, if the USA needed some defensive stops, it is going to be over the next minute and a half. Scoreline of 60 to 59, USA up. It's uh, one of those low scoring games. And if you're going to beat this team, the USA, you're going to have to make it low scoring. You can't beat them with a high scoring, free flowing game. And that's what it's been. It's been a, a very much a strategic battle all the way through. So foul trouble, an issue. Wow. USA looked like uh, it was almost checkmate when Arapovic went out and Slavica came out. A real, you know, a real key point in the game was Tatum driving down the lane. What was it with a five point lead? He missed the layup and Slavica yeah. went down and hit the jumper. And you just saw the... Uh, well, you wonder whether he's out he's trying to prove a point. Just trying to prove a point. He'd been uh, met at, uh, at the basket by Slavica with the block. Tatum wants to come back and just and show that it, it, he can do the stuff down the other end, which we all know he can, but it was a shot that was a little out of control off his left hand, fading away. Jeff, look at those foul trouble there. Four players on four fouls. They're all going to come on the floor in a minute. So Giles with uh, nine points and a game-high 13 rebounds. And USA fans looking on here. And they're going to pick up full court as they've done the whole game. Balzic over to Filipovic. So Filipovic brings it into Slavica. Guarded by Peak. Now Balzic has been quiet. And he puts up a layup and scores over Onowaku. And Croatia have moved back in front. And Onowaku didn't really challenge because he's got sure. four fouls. You know, well, you're in the game. It's last two minutes. You've got to play every point as it is. Now Croatia well, sitting in a 2-3 zone. Wide open. Josh Jackson for three. Count it! Outstanding shooting. Pressure on. Comes up with the goods. Well, that was a big-time shot by Josh Jackson, although he was wide open. Slavica now to Bozic. He puts up a three. It's good! And the two guys that were joining at each other had traded three-pointers. Jackson and Onowaku just got completely messed up. They're having an argument with each other on the floor. I think Jackson got tied up with the screen. There you see he's going over the top of the screen. He's got to trail that cutter. You cannot give a player like Bozic an inch. And now they've gone small, Jeff. Onowaku comes out. Tatum comes in. Croatia have to match up man to man here, surely. They do. Now Karacic guarding Jackson. There's a mismatch. They get him on the perimeter. Brunson. Penetrates. Got Slavic off his feet and hits a crucial go ahead shot. Well, he hasn't had as many points as he did last night, but they don't come any bigger than that. Filipovic now calls the play. We've seen Bozic emerge here for Croatia. Will he get another touch? Will it be Slavica? And Bozic for three, and Jackson got his hand on the ball. Great block. What a recovery. What a recovery from Josh Jackson. One second on the shot clock. This is awfully difficult for Croatia. Will they throw something up towards the basket to Zubats, perhaps? Yes, they will. And he gets it up, but he couldn't tap it. it was, he failed to tap it towards the rim. Now they've got to play D. They get a stop here. Biggest offense of the tournament right here. Score, you put pressure on this Croatian team and how gallantly they played tonight. Maybe, uh, will they go for a killer three? Ferguson. Over to Brunson. Slavica on Ferguson. He gets the pick. Now inside to Jackson. And he just hands it off to Giles. And he lays it up over and puts the USA back in front by three points. Now I noticed that Jackson finds so much space. Look at Zubac has to go one way to guard Giles. Oh, oh my word. He bisected the defense. Brunson, the architect of a great two points. 
for the USA. Well, you know, we've we've talked about the interior passing of uh, Croatia in this tournament, and excellent play that time from the USA. They're not out of the woods yet, though. 51, just over 51 seconds remaining, and a three-point lead. So, draw it up, McBet. What's going to happen here down the stretch? And it's tough, isn't it? Because now the USA know exactly where Croatia are going to attack. It's going to be Bozic or Slavica. Either one's going to get a shot here, drive to the hoop one way or the other. Those two, or one of those two is going to get the ball. So you just get, and I just saw Justin, Jason Tatum, just say, look up to the gods and say, one stop. That's all they need, one stop here, and they've got the gold medal. A little oversimplified, perhaps, yeah. but that's in their mind. That's what they've got to do, get one stop here. They know exactly where that ball's going to go. One or two players, you got them, face got them. You well, double step, you double team the pick and roll, make him give it up. If anything, you go to Zubats. Make the ball go to Zubats. Make him make a decision. A lot of these uh, USA players won the under 17 World Championship last year in Dubai, and here they are playing at the under 19. In the final, Bozic to Zubats. Zubats gets inside, puts it up, and scores over Giles. Well, what do I know? <laughs> well, Zubats. Zubats came up big with Rapovich out of the game. USA looking for the shot that will put him back in front by three. Giles gets it, goes up strong, gets it back, and steps out of bounds with 25 seconds remaining, 25.8. So I was going to say, somebody's going to miss a shot in this game and have to live with it for a long, long time. And Giles saying why to himself as he walks down the court. You know what? Look at this clock, 25 seconds. There's one offense left here for Croatia to win it or lose it. It's important the USA stay together here. Giles, they need to pick him up. Meanwhile, Croatia have got a chance. Now the problem is, last time they went to Zubat out of the out on the sideline, that was a quick hit offense. They won't have that luxury right now. They will want to bring it out to the top, run a load of seconds, mounting pressure on them to get the ball to the right people. Now who does he choose? Does he go back to Zubat for an easy back down? Because guaranteed the USA will come and double that. Giles, Tatum, each with 11 points. Jackson uh, with 10. Those are the only uh, USA players in double digits, although Brunson has eight points, four rebounds, and seven assists. I mean, overall, Brunson's been terrific, especially yesterday against Greece. He was phenomenal. But Croatia has been able to uh, limit his contributions tonight. 23 for Slavica, 16 for Rapovic, and 12 rebounds. Zubac now has 10 points and eight rebounds. Well, maybe you go back down there again. USA have got a timeout. The ball goes in the basket. Which you'd expect. So you don't you don't think they're going to take it down to the last seconds? Well, they have to. They won't they won't take a quick shot here. They'll take their time. I think if they get a, a good look, they'll take it an open look. But see, no, you're right. Here's the problem. You see, dancing around. Get the ball down low. It's a one on one from Bozic. A big clear out. They're not going to call a foul here. He's going to have to make a shot. He gets inside, puts it up, and Jackson steals it. But I think Jackson got him on the arm. But still plenty of time. Well, not plenty, still time. 4.35 seconds, and then Bozic has got to make some free throws. Let's have a look at this reach. It is a reach. It's definitely a battle. Yeah. Oh, a lot of, yeah, yeah. lot of hand, a lot of ball. He took his arm off. He's, he's fouled out of the game, Josh what, Jackson. That is some steady play from Luka Bozic because he got into the lane, backed Jackson down, spun hard. Well, they've been going at each other uh, in this game, talking a lot. And now Jackson has to sit down. Tatum is in the game. Onowaku is in the game. Jeff, there's a free throw here to make a bit of history. Four point three seconds to go. Well, Croatia would have settled for this position uh, at the start of the game. You have got sure. one timeout, Jeff. I think, haven't they? We should take it here. 
And Bozic misses the second. Now Brunson has it. He's going to push it off the floor. He gets it. He puts it up for three. Oh, it was on line for long. And we have got overtime. Well, Bozic had the free throw to win it. Well, the, the go-ahead free throw. And then I think Brunson had an open look. Well, we've got overtime. And it's interesting. Jackson has fouled out. Rapovich has fouled out. Who has the advantage here? USA. USA have the advantage. I mean, it's, uh, I think Croatia have done exceedingly well to get back into this game. And uh, it's just pressure, mounting pressure. Okay, so USA is shooting 45% from long range. Uh, there at the end, they weren't going for the threes, except with Brunson, obviously. Keep piling inside. Keep working Harry Giles. You know, I said about a minute ago, somebody's going to miss a shot. They're going to think about it for the rest of their lives. Giles missed a shot. It's probably bare in his mind. That's Bozic comes down and misses a free throw. The next one to miss a shot and remember it, maybe. You just don't see this, Mick. USA, even if it's by one rebound, yeah. being out-rebounded in the game. I mean, it's been a tremendous effort for both teams, but Croatia have done, they've got 16 offensive rebounds. Well, it's low scoring, Jeff. Anything In a low scoring game, anything can happen. And uh, unfortunately, the United States have not been able to get out and run. They've not been able to dominate. They're the ones that have had to adjust to the Croatian way of playing by going small ball. Well, really, the loss of Arapovic hasn't been as detrimental as you might have thought. They'll probably miss, I mean, obviously they miss him, but they've been able to survive without him and they even had a chance to win it. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, it's just, it's just an incredible game. I mean, uh, I thought last night was spectacular. This is just uh, beating hands up. So, five fouls on Rapovic. He's out of the game. Croatia don't have anybody on four, but for the USA, Onuwaku, Giles, and Ferguson each have four fouls. Jackson has fouled out. Tatum has three fouls. I think there's uh, four players on the court right now could foul out on there. Yeah, that's right. Ferguson, Tatum, Giles, and Waku all could foul out. That's right. So USA start with possession. And they're going to have the ball in Tatum's hands. They're looking to run something now over to Brunson. Now Giles, just like you said, pounded in. He gets it back to Tatum, and Tatum walked. Just a little too anxious to get that ball. Get it on the move, never got it down quick enough. Bullet pass from uh, Giles. I'm not sure Tatum wanted it that quick. See Sean Miller there, the USA coach. Having to squat. Boy, they really had to work to get that ball in. <laughs> Bozic did a good job of uh, breaking away from, from Tatum in the end. Savica into Zubats. Zubats fumbled it. Back to Slavica. Offensive foul called on Zubats. That's unfortunate. Tough one. Just a hard foul. Didn't do too much wrong, Jeff, did he? It's his third foul, so not yet in foul trouble. So four and a half minutes remaining. Ferguson hands it off to Brunson. Tatum inside and gets blocked again. He leaned in to try to get the contact. This is international basketball. You're not always going to get that. Savica, the jumper. And now Tatum gets it back and gets it to Brunson. Now a chance for the USA to run. Brunson gets inside, puts it up, and gets the shooter's roll. Outstanding. Outstanding. Get your twos any way you can. The Euro step through from Brunson. Just piling pressure. Could he be the uh, the game winner again tonight? Well, he's been immense. Bozic gets it to Zubats, back to Karacic. I'm Run. sure Bozic did the right thing by passing it back out. Uh, Karacic puts up a three and gets blocked. Now Giles, Onuwaku had the block, three on one, fast break. And Tatum goes up, and this time there's no mistake. He dunks it with two hands. 
and Slavica just pulled off. Again, Karatic had the shot blocked and then Tatum, look at him. And the little celebration at the end. That was a foul that uh, USA wanted, but I thought Karachis did a good job. Yeah, oh, he's just, it was Tatum's body leaning in and Karachis just leaned over and just hand to the ball. So suddenly a four point advantage. Well, the pressure defense, wasn't it? The ball was left with Karachis for the jump shot. Hasn't played many minutes, he was subbing in because Arapovic fouled out in the game. He'd already missed an open three early, late in the fourth quarter. And that was just too slow. And Waka, great defense. Anti Nazor takes the timeout. Well, the USA digging deep and clearly wanting to have Jason Tatum uh, involved here, attacking the basket. Gets it in transition in the end. So Croatia, Zubats, I thought, on that one possession before they passed it out to Karacic, you know, he had kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, was it, with Onowaku, and he passed it back out with about eight seconds left? Yes. And maybe that wasn't the right decision. And now the Croatians have a difficult time of trying to inbound the ball. Oh, they get it in, Filipovic. And it goes behind his back twice. Brunson's there. Balls it back to Zubats, and Zubats follows the missed shot, misses again, and Onuwaku just takes it away. Uh, big opportunity there from uh, the young Zubats. Tatum hands it off to Onuwaku, and Onuwaku makes it. And now the USA up by six. And how Bozic must feel knowing he could have put his team in front with four seconds remaining, but he missed the free throw. Slavica behind the back pass, and it goes out of bounds. And Croatia now look, with looks of resignation, Absolutely. like the game is slipping Absolutely. away from them. And you know what? That one missed free throw, Jeff, you just mentioned it, will be the free throw you miss. You remember for the rest of your life, possibly. The World Championship on the line. Ferguson goes baseline, and he was fouled by Karacic. What a nice little dump off to Anuaku. I think he's great, played outstanding this time, uh, this uh, extra period, Anuaku. Just yeah. a, a, in the right spot all the time. Yeah, he was a bit timid at the end of the fourth quarter defensively, but he's stepped it up here, and now the USA, they're not out of the woods yet, but if they get these free throws and go up by eight, it's gonna be awfully difficult for Croatia. It already is behind by six. Of course, if he misses both and they get the rebound and hit a three, then we've got a three-point game. Which is more than possible to happen. Well, he missed both, but then the, the ball tips back out, and Zubats gets the block, and then Giles goes up over Zubats. Oh, Zubats couldn't have done any more. The yeah. only thing Croatia didn't do was get the rebound. They just powered it down right now. Just play to your strengths. The USA don't really want to foul here, do they? Bozic puts up a three, that's short. And Tatum gets the ball. And the USA now just closing in on the title, the gold medal for the second consecutive FIBA Under-19 World Championship. They've been taken to overtime, but they're the ones that have made the plays here in the extra period. Onowaku falls down, gets back up. And now Brunson drives in, and Brunson uh, takes a shot to the side. Yeah, he did take a heavy hit, that's for sure. Zubats came in, they got him. Well, look at the USA. They have really been in a heavyweight fight tonight. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. This has been a, this has been a, a momentous game. And Rapovic has had to watch for, what, the last five minutes with frustration having fouled out. Uh, without question, uh, Croatia's best player at this tournament. And now Brunson with a chance to put the USA up by 10. Villanova 
coming up for him. Big year of his basketball career, but right now, nothing can match uh, winning a title for your country, can it? And he is about to uh, about to do that for the USA. It's yeah, awfully well, it's, difficult to see Croatia coming back. No, I, you look at the faces, they're just about spent, I think. That last shot from Bozic just told about everything. Well, Brunson was immense last night, and now he's got 12 points, five rebounds, seven assists. And Bozic has the ball knocked away again. And this time Giles goes coast to coast, but he misses the re he misses the dunk. That, that ball's ended up in mainland Greece, I think. That went miles up into the arena. Goodness me. Yes. Giles wanting to be uh, a showman. Here we go. Perhaps he's a little tired. So Bozic comes out of the game. Kapusta comes back in. Hasn't, haven't seen much of him, not at all in the second half. Zubats back to Slavica. And Slavica puts it up off the back of the rim. Kapusta now. Kapusta drives and gets the shot off. And Zubats just simply can't get it to fall here in the overtime. But the... <laughs> Kapusta takes it away from Onuwaku. Just yeah. stripped him out of the ball. You bring that ball down low, the little fellas are going to come and get it. So, actually, they gave the steal to Karacic. I thought it was Kapusta. And Karacic made the basket. Well, Brunson goes in, banks it in, and with 25.7 seconds left, 79-69, sighs of relief uh, being breathed behind us here with the USA section. And inside it goes to Zubac, who misses again. He puts it up and in. 79-70, but it's been almost a war of attrition here. The USA have won it 79-71. <laughs> the referee just says, just stop here. This game is over. What a fantastic back to the walls up. Back to the walls effort by Croatia, but also the USA. They were really tested, worthy gold medal winners. And certainly Croatia, tough night for them, having given everything and come so close with Arapovic, Sean Miller, and Nazor exchanging uh, congratulations on a, on a job well done for both teams. This is what international basketball is all about. Yeah, I don't think you could say anything more about this game. I, you know, how Croatia took the Americans so close. One shot, one shot, one free throw away. Rapovic and Onowoku uh, hug each other as well as uh, Swanigan. You know, those guys probably end up maybe playing against each other in the NBA one day. And just a tremendous, tremendous uh, under-19 world championship uh, that we've been able to watch, especially the last couple of nights. It has been phenomenal. Yeah. Greece, Greece really, to, to consider, they almost, uh, they, they really pushed the USA last night. And now the USA have uh, survived against Croatia in overtime. Jason Tatum, and I don't know, I've got a feeling Mr. Brunson following his performance last night and the numbers that he put up tonight, especially the way he played in the second half, but could, could be the MVP. He's hugging uh, the USA staff. The Croatians, they know that they've come out and really given it their best shot. They can be proud. Yeah, Look at I, Rapovic. I agree with you, Jeff. There's no doubt about it. These guys can be proud. These Croatian teams, my word, they put some, uh, some fine basketball players on the floor. And as for the USA, worthy champions. Somebody needs to uh, contact Mr. Perasovic, uh, the Croatia senior team coach, and tell him there's uh, one Mr. Marko Arapovic that you named in your preliminary squad that looked pretty good here at this Under-19 World Championship. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in Zagreb um, at the Eurobasket. No, absolutely right. And for the champions, Jeff, I mean, you, know, you came to adversity last night. You've definitely come to adversity tonight. My word, they were looking at defeat with that one free throw. And they've uh, just bounced their way back into this game. 79-71, what a turnaround in overtime.
Well, you look at the stats, and uh, as we watch the Croatians walk off the court, as well as the USA players, we'll just let the stats speak for themselves, really. I mean, 51-51, these teams traded blows. They matched each other blow for blow pretty much for the entire game. USA just got their noses in front in the second half, made some plays, but it was uh, worth the price of admission. However, however you want to say it, it's the type of final that you'd like to have uh, in a major international tournament as this is. Slavica was just phenomenal tonight. Who is ever going to forget the block he had on Jason Tatum? And who's going to forget the big steal from Tatum, which then drew uh, the fifth foul from Arapovich? So great plays, great plays made by great players. And it's been a real joy uh, to be here to take it all in tonight. Of course, you know, we watched earlier tonight uh, Turkey win the bronze, but Onowaku ended up having a big game tonight. You can't forget Josh Jackson. He came out and made some big plays when wow. the USA needed him as Ferguson, well. Ferguson, Jackson, big jump shot. Huge jump. I love Jackson. Jackson's everywhere. You know, he's such a, a lively individual, great player. But that young man there, Jalen Brunson, you know, he leads the floor, he runs the game. Such a great mind, great intelligent basketball mind. And uh, I agree with you, Jeff. You'd be my vote for MVP. Well, we'll find out soon enough. It's amazing that he was able to play the type of game that he did last night and to be able to come out tonight and last. But you could say the same thing about Marko Rapovic, who would have been a strong candidate for that honor as well. And, you know, Harry Giles, there's several players that would be in the running for that award. Tatum. Um, we just have, we, you know, the beauty for me of watching an under-19 world championship is we're watching guys right when their careers are just taken off. I mean, you can watch them play for their club sides or whatever, but they're just about really to hit that next level, whether it's, you know, go to the NBA, play the top clubs in Europe, play play somewhere in South America. It's just fantastic to watch. And, and you're right, Jeff. The only problem with the European players, it will take them two or three years to work into the top clubs. And some of these guys are going to definitely do that working at top clubs. For the American players, they go back and play on college, you know, on TV every week. Their names become bigger a little quicker, perhaps. But uh, you're right, They're the start of their careers. And uh, we've got 10 years of looking after these guys and seeing how well they do. Well, we've seen some great performances at this tournament. We saw Greece. Uh, Tyler Dorsey certainly is. Uh, been quite an addition for this team. Uh, Hiram Bopoulos, we already know, is, is a great player from Panathinaikos. Perkan Korkmaz of wow. Turkey. Four or five play. Turkish kids that uh, yeah. are going to make some noise in the uh, in the European circuit, that's for sure. And, and Croatia showing that really more important than anything else, if you've got the right chemistry, the right attitude, uh, you need oh, yeah. to be together as a team. And even though they had some issues that they had to overcome, off the court or with injuries, they stuck together and almost pulled off what would have been an when, incredible, incredible win. Well, when you don't bring three of your players to the injury, and one because of politics, and you still go to overtime in the final, that's uh, some, some generation of players coming through. Now, we're having the uh, entry into the arena of the medal winners, starting with Turkey. Uh, they beat Greece in the bronze medal game. And... They're going to take up their position on the podium. They were, I suppose you'd have to say they, they suffered a mild upset against Croatia uh, because they these guys won last year at the under-18 European Championship against Croatia in the final. But the manner of the victory from Croatia in the semifinal was so convincing. There's Croatia. They're coming out. Uh, they've gotten the silver. They're going to step up on the uh, on the podium. And now the USA, for the second summer in a row, guys like Jason Tatum, uh, Josh Jackson, Harry Giles, uh, Caleb Swanigan, uh, Terrence Ferguson. Double world champions. Yeah. What can, what can you say? Who knows? To be a world champion once, but to be twice. And maybe they'll end up being uh, Olympic champions or world champions with the USA. And this is what it's all about. You give up your summers to go play for your country. So right now what's going to happen is the All-Star 5 awards are going to be presented by Tiso. Players are going to be walked out or called out, and they're going to walk out to the center of the court. So we'll see who makes the uh, 
the All-Star Five. So Marko Rapovic for Croatia is on the all-tournament team. Jalen Brunson, no surprise there. He's made it as well. Really a stud last night. Let's wait for Ivana Manini, Manini rather, excuse me, to uh, hand off the awards. Here's Jalen Brunson. Von Manini was president of uh, FIBA the last term. And what do you know? Tyler Dorsey's made it. He comes out. He'll be playing at Oregon next year. So the Greek fans that hung around to watch this, he was amazing last night against the USA. He's amazing every night. <laughs> Harry Giles comes out, has made the all-tournament team from the USA. I, I can only imagine this guy's going to be huge. And as a fellow North Carolinian, I'm proud of him. Well done, Harry. And Furkan Korkmaz comes out from Turkey. He was tremendous. And as a fellow European, I'm sure you're proud of him. Yeah, he's a good player. Very good play, very athletic today in that uh, bronze medal game. Outstanding one. So now you would guess that the MVP is going to come from from this. So the All-Star Five: Rapovic, Brunson, Dorsey, Giles, and Korkmaz. There you have it. And they're smiling for the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for the award for the most valuable player. So now the most valuable player award is going to be named. And the most valuable player of the 2015 is Jim Brunson. And Jalen Brunson is indeed the most valuable player. He gets a, a hug from Harry Giles. And uh, I, I'm not surprised. He probably could have won it on his performance alone last night because they wouldn't be here without him. No, that's exactly right. And we, we spoke in commentary about how valuable he is as a player, as a floor general, understanding the game and the ability to play and score as well. He'll be at Villanova. Be sure you watch him. So now the medal presentation is going to take place. So the MVP award was presented by Tiso as well. And now Turkey is going to step up on the podium to receive their bronze medals. These guys are used to collecting medals, most of them. It's a good generation of players, there's no doubt about it. There's five or six players here will move on to the pro level. And, uh, and maybe the national team level, the senior men, too. What is the biggest uh, challenge facing this Turkish, say, this group of players, in your opinion, in terms of uh, how they ended up in third? I, I think losing that game to Croatia yesterday showed them their weaknesses inside as far as muscle. And I think Arapovic and Zubac went to work on them very early on. They never really recovered. And they had a poor day from the perimeter. These players are going to play for these big clubs, Galatasaray, FS, Anadolu, and Fenerbahce. We'll, uh, we'll have a good couple of years ahead of them to learn the game before they uh, make inroads into the uh, major minutes on those teams. Well, we've seen Korkmaz uh, already play at a high level and make some big plays. And I would suppose that he has a type of game that would one day take him to the NBA. Yeah, there's a couple to be looking in there. Two or three maybe looking at uh, making that level. And 
And what a job uh, that young man, that coach has done. Omer has been fantastic. You know, he's coached and won medals uh, the last couple of summers. And it was important for them to get back on track today to beat Greece, uh, to leave this tournament with a smile on their faces. Now Croatia is going to be presented with their silver medals. And I dare say uh, we're going to see these, some of these guys as well at the elite level in international competition. Lirs Levica, he had the game high tonight, 23 points. Number 10. I'd like to say, as you see Jim Tooley from uh, USA Basketball come out, FIBA Central board member. And he, he wants, uh, okay, so they're calling him out in order. I want to say something about the guards for Croatia. I, they were tremendous. Well, it was supposed to be the weakness. I, I didn't see the weakness at all. They came in as the weakness of the team, yeah, because of that height. And they said, well, they can't challenge the United States because of that. But my word, they did well. Filipovsky, Filip Filipovic, especially when uh, Kavusta went down yesterday with the injury. Didn't play much today. But uh, very few turnovers. Ran the show the whole game through. Tremendous, tremendous ball handler. And Slavica, you can't say enough about how he came out. And Zubac, it's going to be interesting to watch how his career progresses after this. Well, especially when you think he wasn't going to get major minutes in this tournament. And he's come out almost making the old tournament team. So Croatia being recognized one more, and, and probably the MVP of that, of that team is the coach. Nazor, is, uh, I think his stock has gone up quite considerably. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now we've got USA going to get their medals as they step up onto the podium. And this is a moment they're never going to forget, ever. Rafael Moratori, the FIBA president, is coming out to present the medals. Juan Evans. Back to back goals for Ferguson. Well, Brunson wasn't there last year at the under 17s, nor was Trier. You're looking at some guys that you're going to be looking at a lot over the coming, uh, what would we say, decade? Well, you go back two years ago to the team that played in Prague. It took one year for three of them to make the NBA, and another three went in the draft this past year as well. So six out of that team made the NBA in two years. Who's to say what will happen with this team? Harry Giles. And Caleb Swanigan. The big, you know, these guys are five-star players. People wondering uh, where they're going to go. Some of them are already in college, playing playing at university. And Thomas Welsh at UCLA. Sean Miller stepped in for Billy Donovan, and lo and behold, gets a, a gold medal. At the first, he'll, he'll learn a lot from this tournament. You know, he'll learn a lot about the, the change of rules, everything. And we're going to have the playing of the national anthem for the United States.
So Horacio Moratori from Argentina, the FIBA president, is going to pre uh, present the World Championship trophy, the under-19 World Championship trophy to Jalen Brunson. And it's going to be interesting to watch. Look at Onowaku comes out. <laughs> what was he doing? Anyway. USA, USA players want to get out and, and celebrate. Here they are. And that's it. That's what it's all about. I can't imagine what it must be like to, to, to be in that celebration. So USA fans, USA basketball, USA players, they win with the gold medal. And it's been a tremendous uh, tournament, again, that we've been able to bring to you, and we hope you've enjoyed it. You've got all basketball players all over the world, and it's great to see all these teams come together here, and especially at this age. You see the excitement on the faces of all these guys. There's nothing quite like playing for your country. Nick, you did it, right? Yeah, and absolutely. And you know what, Jeff, you know, the gold medal for the USA is, was expected. And that's sometimes the relief. You don't want to go home with the USA play with a silver or bronze, but go home with that gold medal. It's made it all worthwhile. It's fulfilled their, uh, their training camps, all the hard work they put in, and all credit to this team. They've, uh, they've had some tough matchups out there. They've come through hard. They've come through tough. Worthy champions, absolutely. Yeah, they, they were pushed in their last two games. They had the adversity, the hostile atmosphere, and I say that as a compliment Yeah. Uh, here in Greece. Uh, everybody pulling against them for the most part. And then they came out tonight against a, a red-hot Croatian team that did not look like they were going to be denied for a while there. Oh, and that, sure enough. That team, will go, this game will go down in the history for a long, long time as the game that almost was the biggest upset. But it, was, uh, it wasn't a beat, and the USA, and I'm glad for them. They played well throughout the tournament, and they've been worthy winners, I'll say it again. And I thought, I thought it wasn't going to get any better than yesterday. Greece, USA. No, you're and right. In fact, it was. It was, yeah. It, it eclipsed it. It eclipsed exactly it. Right. And I think adding to the fact was because both of these came, teams came in. They were, you know, they're, they're leading players. You could see the fatigue was starting to get to them. And to go all the way to overtime, just, they really had to dig deep. Jason Tatum, another gold. What kind of trophy cabinets do these guys have at home? Big ones. Onuwaku, he came to play tonight. <laughs> I don't think that's going to end up at USA Boston. I might just go home with him tonight. I think we know who the, the jokester is in the, U in the USA team. And uh, full marks uh, to FIBA for putting this on in the Greek Basketball Federation. And times uh, are tough in Greece, and they've uh, they've put on a great a great tournament. So you can we'll just leave these uh, last pictures with you. I don't know if you want to say anything else, Mick. No, what a wonderful tournament, and it's always a pleasure to come and see these youth, these young guys playing ball, and watch their progress as the years go by. It's uh, as usual. It uh, doesn't get any better than FIBA basketball. No, it does not. So. A lot more international basketball coming your way this year, so make sure you uh, check it out all over the world. And, of course, next year coming up will be huge as well with the Olympics. It's always fun, the international basketball. Thanks for watching.